But we are back 839 with a Today exclusive from Duke University's Medical Center. Yeah, surgeons there have conducted a new groundbreaking procedure that's bringing hope to thousands of babies who are born with heart defects. Yeah, NBC senior national correspondent mm. Kate Snow is here with a pretty extraordinary story. Hi, is. Kate. Hi, good Hi, morning, Kate. guys. It is really extraordinary. It's known as a partial heart transplant, and this is being hailed as a game changer for the field of pediatric heart surgery. We got an update on the first recipient ever a baby by the name of Owen. <laughs> there you go. Owen Monroe is a happy five-month-old boy, hitting all his milestones, holding his head up, making eye contact, playing with toys. He's great. He's playful. He's um, a lot. He's a lot of fun. He likes um, attention. He likes attention. He <laughs> yeah. probably gets that from me. It's an outcome his parents, Taylor and Nick, could only have dreamed of months ago when they received terrifying news. A routine ultrasound at 21 weeks showed Owen had a life-threatening heart condition known as truncus arteriosus. It was a very challenging time, scary. There was a point in time where his heart kept getting worse and worse and worse. Truncus arteriosus is a condition babies are born with. A healthy heart has two arteries. One carries blood to the rest of the body, while the other carries blood to the lungs. Blood flow through them is controlled by valves. Owen only had one artery, and its valve wasn't working. Basically, the top half of his heart needed to be replaced. Surgeons typically use replacement valves that need to be switched out as the child grows, requiring multiple open heart surgeries. Each one raises the risk of infection and could be life-threatening. I felt like putting two non-living valves in that location was really going to destine him to just a series of operations just within his childhood. Dr. Joe Turek, chief of pediatric cardiac surgery at Duke, proposed a partial heart transplant instead, a procedure he'd been researching but that had never been done before in people. Dr. Turek was confident he could do it, but left the final decision up to Owen's parents. I said, well, whatever you have to do to save our son, please do it. At 17 days old and weighing just over five pounds, Owen became the first partial heart transplant recipient ever. In a normal heart transplant, a patient receives an entirely new organ. Today, Owen's heart looks like this, mostly his, but with parts from another donor. I think this can revolutionize heart surgery in children. This became the standard of care. We would have a lot of uh, happier children running around with fewer operations and, uh, and quicker return to what kids should be doing. Nearly half a year later, Owen's valves continue to grow with him. A groundbreaking idea, making a big difference in the littlest patients. Oh, I see it, yay! He's loving life. I mean, he could not be more happy to be given a second chance. We're very proud parents. So, guys, right now, Owen is on a full dose of anti-rejection medications, just to be cautious. But Dr. Turek says that some preliminary research suggests that low-dose, non-life-altering anti-rejection medication could be all that's going to be needed. He's starting a clinical trial to study that. If that ends up being the case, Dr. Turek believes this approach will become standard of care for mm. any little baby, any child mm. that needs a heart valve transplant. Wow. And he'll grow into that heart as he grows, yeah, right? Yeah, his valves grow with him now. It's incredible. Oh, that was an incredible. Brilliant story. doctors, yes. courageous That's parents, yeah. strong yes. little baby. Yeah. Totally. Wow. Wow. Go, Owen, go. Wow. Thank you, Thank Kate. Thanks, Kate. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.